Okay, what we have here is a tilapia hatchery. Uh, what they do is they, uh, they have male and female tilapias in another tank, not this tank. They have male and female tilapias in another tank. That, uh, that's what they call their brood stock. And once a week, they inspect all of the female tilapias in, the, in that brood tank for, uh, for tilapia eggs. The female tilapia, uh, after it has, uh, she has laid her eggs in the tank territory and the male has fertilized them, uh, the female tilapia then collects them in her mouth where she tumbles them uh, and holds them until they've hatched. And so what they do is they inspect the female tilapia's mouths for the eggs and collect them. Uh, because what they want to do is hatch them in a controlled manner, uh, which uh, is kind of what fish farming is all about, is it's about having controlled stock that is at the most uniform uh, size possible. So this all starts with collecting the eggs and then putting them in this, uh, this is called a McDonald flask or jar, I'm not really sure. You could do it with a two liter Coke bottle as well. But when the eggs are first put in here, these eggs have already turned into little fry. Uh, but before they're fry, they're just little eggs and uh, the pipe that comes down the bottom is the pipe that uh, brings the water in and because it discharges into the bottom and the bottom of the flask is kind of uh, curved, it's oval shaped, that uh, causes a tumbling motion at the bottom of the tank and it, re it mimics what the female tilapia does with the eggs when she holds them in her mouth. So anyway, after a few days, the eggs uh, hatch, and you can see here, uh, this is what they look like. These are now uh, fry, and they, a lot of them still have the, the yolk attached. They're still absorbing their yolk. Uh, but what happens, and the way this works, is that once they do absorb their yolk, the fish will just naturally swim and eventually come out of the top of this jar, and then they fall into this tank, into this little tank. And there you can see, uh, uh, I don't know how many, I mean, dozens and dozens of, of little tilapia fry uh, just swimming around. Uh, so anyway, what happens is then uh, once they get to the size that the fish farmer wants uh, for this stage of the rearing process, they then move these fish from uh, this tank into a whole other series of uh, tanks that you see over there in that building. But the hatching process uh, is what I wanted to show here, and this is how it is done. Um, the fish, once they're in this little tank, I mean, you don't have to feed these fish. So obviously, they're so small, they eat whatever particles and probably some algae, since this is a little bit exposed to sun, that are in the water. 